I think, you know, we live in awful times at the moment, but we should pat ourselves on the shoulder that we actually warned about this. But there is a problem here. Why, why didn't policymakers take a lot of these warnings seriously? Including these that were made just the end of last year, early in, early in January. And I think there is a real problem with the policy making process, not so much foresight, where I think on foresight, we've made huge progress over the last decade or two, honing the whole practice, honing how we present the, the warnings. But so far, policymakers really have not taken it as seriously as they should. We need to be at the table, the policy making table, to get policymakers to think about these long-term trends, to, to take these warnings really seriously. So that's the first message. The second is my real fear is about the developing world. You know, over the past decade, it's been marvelous. We've had wonderful news about how much progress we're making against poverty, how much the global middle class is growing. If that stops, not, not just because they will be suffering in the, in the short term, unprepared as they are for tackling this, this crisis, but also because the advanced economies won't help with their recovery and secondly, that the advanced economies may close down on globalization. They're turned off, they were turned off before the pandemic. So this will be another excuse to put up national borders, not to, to go ahead with, with open trading. The final message is on the US. Obviously it's, it's deeply disappointing that we have an administration who doesn't listen to the warnings and still re disregards uh, what experts are telling them. If, that, if this administration is not turned out, it'll be a huge disappointment for me. It means that ignorance has triumphed over, over expertise.